Hello, class. Welcome back to another discussion here in Not One Statistics. And uh, for today, we'll be actually uh, continuing our discussion regarding testing the difference between two means. As you may have remembered in our past video, we actually talked about uh, more on uh, our independent samples. And for today, we'll be looking into paired samples. By paired samples, these are uh, samples that related sa isang isa. Uh, it just means that we have a uh, dependent sample. Dependent yung isa dun sa isa. So, uh, by that, uh, yun lang, review lang, as you may have remembered, if this is just a uh, statistical method for comparison of two population, we consider their means. So, uh, again, this is just another test statistics that will be uh, that will be anchoring our uh, our inferences on the difference of their uh, means of the paired samples. So, yun yung titingnan natin ngayong araw. And by that, we will be uh, focusing our discussion on our dependent samples or yung mga tinatawag natin paired samples. So, tapos na tayo last time dun sa ating mga independent samples where we talked about our large independent samples and uh, small independent Ngayong araw, doon tayo sa dependent samples. And both by those dependent samples, we will be actually utilizing our testing the difference between two means of paired samples or our dependent samples. So by paired samples, uh, by we will be using paired sample t-test. Diretso na ito sa ating uh, t-test wherein we will be comparing two population means in cases where two samples are by correlated, ito yung ilang examples ng ating mga correlated samples. We have there the before-after studies. Kung baga, pwede dito yung uh, p-test, post-test na, na, na test or na sampling. Kung baga, ba, paano yung p-test, post-test? Ano nangyayari? Halimbawa, ikaw ay isang, isang trainer. Trainer ka na ano, ng mga ng, tao para sa post-harvest activity. Halimbawa, gagawa ng bagoong, gagawa ng dae. Ang una mong gagawin, pwede kang mag-conduct ng tinatawag natin na pre-test. So, ito yung una mong, uh, una mong sampling na gagawin. So, by unang sampling, bibigyan mo sila ng isang set ng, ano, ng questions regarding dun sa processing na gagawin mo. Then, after ng training, pwede kang mag-conduct ng tinatawag na post-test. Hindi na ito bago sa inyo kasi pre-test, post-test, ginagawa ito dati sa, sa elementary kapag, ano, kapag kayo ay tinitest regarding sa inyo sa inyong uh, sa inyong learning sa isang subject matter. So in that, uh, you have there your before and after studies. So marami pang iba ito na pwede nyo gawin. So, ang pwede nyo gamitan din ng uh, paired sample t-test. So, halimbawa, uh, gusto mong i-test yung growth ng mga bagay-bagay kung magiging significantly different pa agad yung, yung, ano, yung growth nila. Halimbawa, ano ba yung sinasabi kong growth? Halimbawa, meron pang uh, sampung ano, medyo fingerlings na, ano, na mga, mga isda. Tapos, uh, mag-test ka ng, ng iyong feed na uh, pinormulate mo, then you can actually use this before-after studies. You will measure their weight or yung length nila before, then i-compare mo yun dun sa measurements mo later on dun sa after mo. Also, we have we have the match pairs. By match pairs, pwede rin itong halimbawa sa isang, uh, sa isang study, nagkaroon ka ng uh, dalawang, dalawang set ng tao na uh, test mo kung kung yung isang method ay effective dun sa isa in comparison dun sa isa pwede mong gawin yan so kung magaling ba meron kang mga sampung uh, samples dun sa sampung samples na yun yung isa inintegrate mo sa kanya ah, gumamit ka ng ibang procedure ng pagtuturo at isang at iba pang procedure dun sa isa so dun mo rin pwede gamitin yung match pair and again pwede rin dito yung pinatawag nating control and file studies 
by controlled and trial studies, I actually have an example later on regarding this controlled uh, trial study. So, ang pwedeng gawin dito ay uh, given uh, an experimental data or experimental setup, meron kang tinatawag na control. Yung control mo, yun yung hindi mo gagamitin or hindi mo gagamitan nung, nung experimental method mo. Siyempre, yung trial uh, sample mo, yun naman yung gagamitan mo na experimental setup mo. Tapos, later on, after no testing mo doon sa iyong experimental set, ang gagawin mo, i-compare mo yung data mo makukuha mo sa control at yung data na makukuha mo rin sa trial. So, baga, magiging actually, let's more on uh, control versus trial studies. Pero, ayun, for in some note, I just wrote end dito para mas malinaw. So, in that, you have there your control and trial studies. So, yan yung tatlong correlated samples. Examples lang ito. Pwede nyo pang tingnan pa or explore pa kung ano yung mga tinatawag nating correlated samples. Ano pa ba yung mga pwede nating sabihin na correlated samples. And, and in that note, you can actually use this paired t-test. And for paired t-test, we actually have some assumptions na kailangan nating i-consider when we are dealing with paired uh, sample t-test. So, one, only the match pair can be used to per per perform paired t-test. So, Kaya nga siya sinabing uh, paired sample t-test. Dapat meron kang match na pair. So, ibig lang sabihin yan, kung meron kang meron kang uh, sampung sampung samples para dun sa isang set mo, dapat meron ka rin sampung samples dun sa isang set mo. Dapat match sila. Dapat meron kang partnering na ginagawa. So, one is to one dapat yung ano natin. So, kung baga sa controlled versus trial, kung meron kang limang controls, dapat meron kang limang trials. Or, uh, on the other way around, kung meron kang limang trials na gagawin, dapat meron ka rin limang control samples. So, in that, uh, in the paired uh, sample t-test, normal distribution is assumed. So, ang sinasabi dito, dapat yung, yung pag-uusapan natin yung population ng ano natin, ng data natin, dapat magpa-follow siya ng tinatawag nating normal distribution. Okay? And also, the variances of two samples are homogeneous. Walang pagkakaiba. Masyado yung variances nila. And also, the observations must be independent of each other. Sir, anong sinasabi niyang independent? E di ba dapat ito ay pinag-uusapan natin yung prepared samples or tinatawag natin uh, dependent sampling yung nangyayari. So, Actually, yung sinasabi niya lang dito, observations must be dependent of each other. Ang sinasabi lang niya, yung unang observation mo ay dapat walang effect dun sa next observation mo. So, umbaga, yung score na nakuha nung, nung doon sa first observation ay dapat hindi niya maapektuhan yung score ng susunod. Okay? Walang bearing yung una niyang nakuha dun sa susunod niyang nakuha. Umbaga, dun sa control mo, dapat walang epekto yung control setup mo dun sa experimental setup mo. Pero, tinitingnan mo yung dependence nila sa isa. But not necessarily uh, yung observations mo ay dependent sa isa. So, hindi dapat yan. So, yun yung ilang assumptions ng ating paired sample t-test. We have those four. And as for the procedure of our paired sample t-test, this is actually... Uh, halos familiar lang dun sa ating mga ginawa ng una, we will be having our test statistics, we will be computing for standard deviation, and also we will be computing computing for the t-test value. Ang kaibahan lang sa paired samples, kasi pairing nga yung tinitingnan natin, we actually are uh, looking into yung tinatawag nating differences. Okay? So yun yung isa sa mga kailangan natin bigyang toon when we are dealing with paired samples, we need to look at their differences. So, in that, we actually will be uh, uh, computing for the differences of our observations. So, in here, we have this formulas, wherein uh, we have here the uh, D-bar. By D-bar, this is actually the, the average or the mean of the differences. By the mean of the differences, halimbawa, Meron kang uh, before 
and merong kang after data. Dun sa before and after data mo, merong kang limang uh, limang samples. So, halimbawa, meron ka dito 2, 3, 4, 5, tapos meron ka dito uh, 3, 6, 4, 7. So, ang gagawin mo dito sa differences na ito, kukunin mo yung differences nitong dalawa nung before after data mo. Yun yung sinasabi natin D. So, para dun sa D, all you need to do is you just need to uh, negate itong mga bagay-bagay na ito by negate magkakaroon ka dyan ng iyong uh, kukunin mo lang yung differences nila. So, by kukunin yung differences, all you need to do is kukunin mo lang yung differences. So, ano nangyayari? Uh, for this one, ang pwede mong gawin, yung iyong x2, which is yung iyong after, minus mo x1. So, hindi natin, that will be uh, equal to our x2 minus our x1. So, for this one, that's, this will be 3 minus 2. And 3 minus 2 will be 1. And we'll have uh, 6 minus 3. So, that will be 3. 4 minus 4, that will be 0. And 7 minus 5, that will be 2. So, yun yung sinasabi nating D. Tapos, ang gagawin mo dyan, you just need to uh, get the sum of this. So, you'll have 1 plus 3 plus uh, 0 plus 2. So, that will be 6. And you just need to divide it by the number of your samples. And by the number of samples, should be the number of paired samples. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 paired samples. So for the D bar, that will be a uh, summation of D, which is 6, divided by 4, which is the number of our paired samples. So you will have there, uh, that is 3 over 2, 1.5. So that will be 1.5. So that will be your D. So ngayon, nakuha mo na yung D mo. Ang kailangan mo na lang gawin ay uh, mag-proceed ka na lang sa pag-compute ng iyong ng iyong uh, standard deviation. Or yung standard deviation mo naman is you need your d-square. Ibig sabihin, yung mga nakuha mong d dito, you need to square that. So, 1 square is 1, uh, 3 square is 9, 0 square is 0, 2 square is 4. Then, you just need to add that. Yun na yung mag account para dito sa ating solution of squared as for our <clears throat> as for our summation of d squared that will be itong 6 itong square yan then divide by n okay so that will be 36 divided by 4 so ganun yung pag compute natin ng standard deviation i divide lang natin siya ng uh, n minus 1 okay then meron ka ng standard deviation and using this d bar yung average ng differences at yung ating standard deviation we can compute where in our t is equal to our uh, d bar minus our mu t or mu of the difference. Usually, ang value nito, ang mu d ay equal actually sa zero. Unless specified na merong pang, uh, merong pang population mean difference yung sa paired samples mo. And also, you just need to divide that by standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So that is our uh, the formulas or the uh, relevant formulas for paired sample of this. In that, we will be using this formula for this procedure. And as you may notice here, halos parehas lang. Walang pinagkaiba. Ang pinagkaiba lang natin dito kasi, ang laging naging iba lang ay yung sa step 4, wherein you, we need to uh, calculate for the paired sample t-test using the formulas that are uh, given earlier. So, yun lang yung difference ng ating mga ginagawa or ng ating hypothesis testing dun sa mga uh, usual na procedure. You need to set up the hypothesis. You need to set the level of significance. You need to calculate for the case of freedom. You need to determine the critical value of T using the student T-test distribution. You need to calculate for the paired T-test samples. Tapos, yun na yung ating statistical decision ulit. But yung t-computed natin, yung mas mababa kaysa rin sa t-critical, we do not reject our HO. And whenever it is higher, <clears throat> uh, we will have here t-computed greater than t-critical, we need to reject the HO. 
Indian medicine versus American. That is always the same uh, method, same system na kailangan natin tingnan. And regarding the example na sinasabi ko kanina regarding our uh, control in trial is ito yung example na ibibigay ko para sa inyo. So, nirelate ko ito sa inyong course which is uh, fisheries. So, uh, for your study, you decided to study the fingerling survivability of a certain species in water taken from Kawit River. So, kung hindi kayo familiar kung saan ang Kawit River, ito yung mukhang ilog na nasa likod ng, uh, ng Primso at ng Priory. So, uh, for your uh, experiment, you set up your experiment by having a control set wherein you have uh, water not taken from Kawit River in an experimental setup wherein the water, uh, for the experimental setup, your water is taken from Kawit River. So, from the survivability data below, on na, nasa table, test whether there is a let, there is less survivability in the water taken from Kawit River at 5% level of significance. <clears throat> so, less. Ang uh, ibig lang sabihin ito, we will have a one-tail uh, <clears throat> one tail test. So, for the for the hypothesis, let's set up the hypothesis. Usually, inuuna natin yung ating alternative hypothesis since ang sabi sa alternative hypothesis natin, less survivability. Ang ibig lang sabihin yan, Yung mu1, which is yung ating control, is actually greater than our um, mu2, which is yung ating experimental. Since ito yung ating yung x1, at ito yung ating x2. <clears throat> so, ganyan yung magiging itsura. And as for the HO or the null hypothesis, we will have here... Uh, we will have here mu1 is less than or equal to our mu2. Right? So, yan yung ating setup ng hypothesis. Pwede rin yung mabaliktad class kung ay ko-consider nyo na mu1 nyo ay yung, ano, yung Sakawit River, yung experimental mo, at yung mu2 ay ko-consider mo naman ay yung control. So, mababaliktad yung iyong uh, yung mu kasi yan nga. Kailangan mong iset kung ano yung magiging experimental mo at alin yung magiging, uh, magiging <coughs> control mo. At alin yung mu1 at alin yung mu2. So, for step 2, all we need to do is set the level of significance and luckily it is given to us. So, this is our step 1. For our step 2, we just need to find the level of significance. So, the level of significance is 5% or are in our computations, we usually write that in decimal. So we have there 5 divided by 100, so that is 0 0.05. And we need to determine for step 3, the degrees of freedom. And for the degrees of freedom, that is n minus 1. And our n is 10, so we will have here 10 minus 1. So we have a degrees of freedom, which is 9. So, kung may check nyo sa t-test or dun sa ating uh, student t-test distribution kung ano yung magiging critical value natin dito, all you need to do is look for 0 0.05 under one-tailed. And as you may see here, kapag uh, pag nakuha nyo na yung doon at 5% tapos DFH9, you will actually find that your t-critical is actually equal to 1.833. So that is our T. So for the step 4, actually we will be needing another sheet here or another slide here. Kasi dito na tayo sa pagkocompute ng ating uh, differences. Right? So differences. Dako tayo rin sa differences. Okay, so for the differences, all we need to do is now is just to account for our x2 and our x1, then get their difference. So as you may have remembered kanina, sinet natin na yung x2 natin ay yung ating experimental at yung x1 natin ay yung control. So what will happen here is we just need to compute for t. So 
that will be our x2 minus x1. So, mangyayari dito, we will have here 7 for the first pair minus uh, 13. So, that will be negative 6. Okay, then we'll have 6 minus 10, that will be equal to negative 4. 9 minus 7. So, we'll have here uh, 9 minus 7 is 2. Then we'll have 7 minus uh, 10, so that will be negative 3. And we will have here uh, 17 minus 16, that will be 1. 14 minus 13, that will be 1. 18 minus 9, that will be 9. Uh, 17 minus 2, that will be 3. Then uh, we will have here uh, eight, 3 minus 18, that will be negative 15. And for this one, uh, we'll have 16 minus uh, 9. So that will be uh, 7. So in here, all we need to do now is just uh, get the sum of this para meron na tayong sum, summation of D. And kung gagawin natin yun, pwede nyo gawin na compute nyo lang siya ng diretso or pwede rin naman pag samasamahin nyo lahat ng negative, pag samasamahin nyo lahat ng positive, then kunin nyo lang i-add nyo sila. And in that, I uh, actually go ahead and compute for that. This is actually equal to negative 10. So, in here, pwede na natin actually makuha yung d-bar natin. Pero mamaya na natin yung gawin. Let's proceed to the next part of uh, this solution wherein we need to get the square of our d here. So, we will have here negative 6 square. So, that will be negative 6 times negative 6. That will be 36. And this will be uh, 16. This will be 3. This will be 9. 1 square is 1, 1 square is 1, uh, 9 square is 81, uh, negative 2 square is 4, negative 15 square is 225, and negative 7 is 49. So, all you need to do now here is just uh, get the summation of your, your d square, and that summation of d square is actually equal to 426. So, in here, class, meron ka na ng, anong, nung iyong uh, D, meron ka na rin, or summation ng iyong D, meron ka na rin ng, ng iyong summation ng iyong D squared. All you need to do now is compute for the values. Ang pwede natin unahin is we need, uh, let's compute for the D bar. So, for the D bar, all you need to do here is just get this, uh, get this one. So, you will have summation of D over n, so that will be negative 10 over n, which is 10. Sir? Okay. So we have here over n. Over 10. So we will have here negative 1. So, yun yung unang data na kailangan natin. And for now, ang next na kailangan natin gawin is uh, to compute for the SD or yung standard deviation of our differences which is that is equal to the formula we uh, given earlier that is equal to the summation of our d-square. Ito yun, mga sa wabang yan. And uh, that minus the summation of d-square okay, over n which is 10 mamaya. And we need to divide all of this by n minus 1. So, compute lang natin. So, we'll have here summation of d square will be 426. We'll have here 426 minus yung summation of D natin, which is negative 10. Square natin yan, and we need to divide that by 10, our n, all over 10 minus 1. Okay? So you can go ahead and compute for this. Pwede mo nang i-post yung video para uh, mag-compute. But in any case, In any case, uh, the answer here is 
we will have here a standard deviation which is equal to 6.7999. So that will be our standard deviation. And for the t, all we need to do now is compute for the t, which is equal to our uh, d bar minus our mu d all over our uh, sd, standard deviation of ating differences, divided by the square root of our uh, n. So that will be equal to negative 1 minus yung ating mu d, which is 0, kasi wala namang specify na mean ng differences ng mga n. Then we will have uh, 6.799 divided by the square root of n, which is square root of n. And, <clears throat> pwede nyo rin compute. Try natin kung parehas tayo na makukuha. And for this, you will actually be, will be able to compute this. Negative 0.465. This one. Okay? And as you may notice, sobrang baba. By sobrang baba, it just means na uh, we will have here yung ating uh, yung ating t-critical kanina, kung maaalala nyo, is actually equal to 1.833. Tapos yung t-computed natin is 0 0.0. Uh, 0. Point, negative 0. 0.465. So it just means that, that our T computed is actually less than our uh, T critical. So it just means that uh, we do not project our <clears throat> And, ang, at, and anong ibig sabihin nito kapag hindi natin reject yung HO natin? So kung babalikan natin yung data natin kanina, ang sabi natin, ang HO natin, ang mu1 natin is less than or equal to our uh, mu2. Which just means na hindi, uh, na hindi greater than yung survivability natin dun sa Kawit River. Ay, hindi pala less than yung survivability no, sa Kawit River natin kesa ron sa ating uh, control. So, it just means na halos, pwedeng halos parehas lang or uh, relatively mas mataas yung survivability dun sa ating Kawit River kesa ron sa control natin. So, that is our example there. You just need to state your conclusion on your own para lang may practice naman kayo kung paano mo gagawin yan. In any case, I will be giving you another set of activity for this one, and I will be posting that on our Edmodule page. So, if you don't have any question, that will be all for this video. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye-bye.